and I'm going to start doing the HPI frame kit for the A body installation. And I already ran into some problems, so I'm going to show you. This is the kit right here. Uh, for the most part, that's the, the right hand side, which is the passenger side. And this piece here is the driver side. Um, and then you have the exhaust cross member right here, uh, which I, I really like the way they did that. I like that. And underneath that, and underneath, um, I have the boxing for this channel uh, right in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, and then this is the transmission. This is the transmission bracket. It's really nicely uh, welded together, really clean. And I, these are the plates right here that have to fit on that side and the driver's side over here. So we're going to get into that in a little bit. Um, but I wanted to show you some problems that I had in the beginning. The problem that I had just right off the bat is that this pipe here off the, the tube, it goes inside the frame as long as you line it up with this hole here. Now this hole here, they're not telling you, is where the brake line uh, clip holds on the passenger side and the driver's side. Actually, the, the brake line is over here. Um, you could see where it's rusted. So, But that's where that hole is. Um, right here, you have to open... On my frame, it was dented almost about two inches. So I had to open this up. They, tell you, they recommend you use a crescent wrench, which is fine. I've done that. Um, also, what I've done is use these pliers here. They're uh, sheet metal pliers. Straighten it out. Um, also, this has to get cut and removed to accept the metal. But I just wanted to show you that. And uh, I dry fitted this tube when the frame was under the body over here. So I made sure everything was right. And it does hit right here, right where it bends, there's the knockout in the floor pan. Maybe an eighth of an inch, I am not sure. That's why they're telling you to lift the bushings up that eighth of an inch on those uh, spacers. So let me show you what I did. I bent the frame to accept that uh, piece of metal right there um, give you a better shot of it just wanted to make sure that it, oh, sorry I didn't focus just wanted to make sure everything is fitting properly and as you can see right there I bent that just a little too much so I'm gonna bend that back up so it, it sits on there flat okay um, that being said this is the passenger side. That looks pretty good. Again, this is just fitting it to make sure uh, it's going to fit properly once I cut everything out. And I have a problem right here. Um, only because the frame dips in right here and then it comes up. I am not going to cut into this bushing flange. You see that, that piece right here? That's where, the, that's where I have to cut to get rid of that flat piece of metal where the bushing is so it accepts this. But as you can see, there's going to be at least a quarter inch gap right here. Um, that's, that's the top shot right there. That's without me cutting anything. I just want to make sure everything's going to fit properly before I go ahead and do it. This is where um, I have to scribe the, the uh, metal because it goes in uh, just to get it, 
get it to where I need it right here. Um, I had to hammer this right here because it's a little concave if you notice um, when I clamped it it wasn't tight so I hammered it in clamped it so it's actually a, a nice welding surface right there um, and this is where I need to cut right here I got to cut this part of the tubing off um, and then this is what the plate looks like right now you see how it's it's a little contoured and, and bent. That's the way it is on the frame um, right here. So I want to make sure that this contour is the same so when I start welding, there's no problems. But let me cut this off and I'm going to show you exactly uh, what I'm doing. Right here. So I cut that off. Now I'm going to dry fit it, make sure that this is a decent cut and it's where it's supposed to be. Um, but yeah, I had to cut that much off on the front tube and this much off on the rear tube I might have to trim it again all right this is where I am with the kit I want to show you the problem that I have with it I went back and forth with my supplier and we determined that it is a manufacturer's defect and I want to go over Okay, this is where it's on the car, and I triple checked everything to make sure everything was proper. Um, the problem that I have is when you install this kit, this plate, the transmission plate on the passenger side is over there, and the driver's side over here. The problem is that this should be level front to back, and left to right so if you look here I'm gonna move this level out of the way so if you look there it's clearly out of level okay it's this one this one right here so in order for it to be level it should be right there now if you see how high that is there's a problem now with sticking my other level from plate to plate right there okay from plate to plate and if you look that is right on the money okay so when I put it on here which is the tubes um, it was out of level so this one the driver's side was way high than the passenger side so what I did was I lowered it and if you look there it is level and that is from pipe to pipe okay so I did the same thing in the back if you look there it's right on the line actually it got to come down just a breath but that means that this transmission plate is crooked all right so it, ha it was welded from factory right there at the wrong angle okay and then if you measure from left to right right there it has to come up a breath okay so now my problem is i'm gonna have to re cut this plate and raise it up so it's level and then I took my large level uh, and I put it from the frame to check my frame and sure enough my frame is right on the money okay um, sorry about the camera angle but it's it's right on the money make sure and they sent me out another one and sure enough that other one is again uh, manufactured incorrectly so if you have a problem don't go ahead and start welding it and double check triple check make sure you are on the money uh
I tacked everything in place so my my uh, my bars here my angle iron is secure the frames not going to move when I weld uh, but I want to show you this right here uh, this this part of the frame comes out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it right here straight across from the bottom I'm not gonna touch the top of the frame because a lot of people are having a problem where they cut too much and this bushing gives them a problem so I don't want to get into that and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it because uh, I don't want to have that situation so I'm gonna cut cut the bottom here across and then cut the top and then I'm gonna show you what else I'm going to do so uh, okay it's all cut now what I want to show you is this is welded from factory on top of this metal that's part of the frame so this plate is actually welded right across there um, so what I am going to do is I'm going to grind this weld off so it leaves the original frame and just removes the plate and if you look straight down here I left this a little heavy when I cut it because like I said a lot of people are having problems where they cut this too much and then they're they're in there welding and refilling that space so what I'm gonna try to do is get in here and grind this flush get a straight edge in there and make sure that's in a straight straight line for you okay everything's prepped I just wanted to show you you see this plate I actually made it fit the frame the existing frame so I grinded it smooth hold on a second just want to show you I grinded it smooth I made it round here uh, made it round a little here because it, it comes up to a point flattens out and then comes back down so what I wanted to do is I wanted to match the contour of this frame so I'm not cutting this out and having a situation where the uh, mounting bushings uh, would not fit so right now if you look it goes right underneath hold on right there goes right underneath everything lines up and if you look right here it actually where my thumb is it closes that gap up a lot and if you look earlier in the video there's probably a quarter inch gap there so I wanted to make sure that that's going to be nice and tight when I weld straight edge and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up from underneath right there and just weld a bead uh, right across the plate to keep it from moving up and down where the body bushing is. The uh, plate is in place. I have it clamped in. As you can see everything lines up perfectly. Okay. This is the driver side. And then right here, uh, like I said, I'm just going to tack weld right across here. And, and that should be perfect, as you can see. I contoured that metal to fit. So this is done. I'm ready to start tack welding everything into place. I double checked and triple checked everything. Uh, made sure my level is level from frame to frame, front to back. Um, I put another level on the tubular pipes. That's on the money. I'm gonna show you in a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna bring you closer down. But everything is clamped in place and it's ready to be tack welded. So what I'm gonna do first is just start tack welding uh, a couple spots left and right all the way down just to keep it from moving and then come back in later on and, and tack weld everything into place. I'm gonna bring you down uh, a little closer so I can show you what I did. In case you have any questions, leave a comment. Uh, please subscribe, that helps me out. Um, okay, there's the level, everything's perfectly level. Um, everything's clamped into place. So I'm ready to start tack welding. I checked to make sure that the frame uh, tubes for the strengthening kit are perfectly level. Uh, it has to come up a little bit on the left side here, but I could, I'm going to do that when I start welding. 
Um, and other than that, just want to show you, it looks pretty good. For now, everything's in place. So that's the driver's side. And I'm going to show you over here the passenger side. Everything's clamped in place. Everything's ready to rock and roll. Uh, let me move my safety glasses there. All right. Right now, pretty much everything is tacked. So I'm just gonna check my level and plumb. Um, if I have to move every, anything, I could easily cut the spot weld away, move it up, adjust it just to breath so I can get it where I need it, and then I'll do my permanent welding. I just wanted to show you that right now. Um, I got one more tack here I wanna put on the plate and I'll do a couple on the bottom on the uh, boxing so then I'll get back to you I'll show you closer what everything looks like before I go ahead and continue welding so all right let's get started okay everything is spot welded here's a close-up view of it um, I'm gonna remove some of my clamps once I double check everything I'm gonna weld a little bit more just to make sure everything Okay, I'm all done tacking it in. Um, I have to do the bottom yet. Just want to show you a little bit of what I did. I started cleaning it up on this side just to get the burrs off there, make sure my wells are solid because I was bouncing around a lot so it didn't heat and move on me. Uh, there's the plate to the frame right there. That came out really nice. Uh, the uh, bracket that goes on. Uh, so I got to tack weld that in place too. So that's one of my last things I have to do But uh, I just wanted to show you my progress a little tight uh, They actually tell you that in the instructions that you may have to trim it. This came out really nice So I'll show you that show you the side here. It came out really nice and it's nice and strong solid Did not cut did not go into this piece. So if you trim it like I said in the video it, it you should not have a problem. So just those are the pros and cons of doing uh, the right job so this isn't cut off and then you have a problem with the bushing. So I wanted to show you, I flipped over the frame and I did my final welds underneath, made sure that everything was done properly. So nice and clean welds all the way down, really nice. Show you that right there. Just clean that up and let me take it to the other side. Okay, I welded everything up on this side. Did my final tacking from underneath right there. Just wanted to show you everything looks really good. And you could see where I st stepped my welds. I welded like every two inches. Stop, started again, stop, started, stopped. See that? You want to maintain that. You don't want to keep welding because you will tweak the frame. I'm all done welding the the uh, panels, the, the plates on the side of the frame. So that's boxed. The only thing I have to do now is to clean it up, grind everything smooth. And I'm going to show you. I'll bring you closer down to, to, so you can see it. The other thing I have to weld is I think I'm going to weld this actually first before I do all my grinding, so if I have to clean it up, I can do it fairly easily, is uh, this uh, exhaust bracket. And by doing so, you use a, a square, and you, uh, here's the, the square here, and you line it up, make sure it's square with the tubes that you put in, 
So you just put it up against there, make sure it's in a square line to this uh, side and a square line to the pass the driver's side and make sure everything lines up well. And right now, um, it's, it's actually really, really close. This side has to come a breath this way. So other than that, everything worked out really well. I'm gonna bring you down closer so you can look at it. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment and I always get back to uh, anyone that leaves me a comment. So if you have a question or if you like what I'm doing, just leave a comment and uh, if you can, please subscribe. Uh, other than that, let's, let's get going. I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, I'm ready to weld the exhaust bracket into place. Um, the only thing that you have to do is, uh, well, you don't have to do it, but it makes it easier. When you remove your exhaust brackets, make sure the two bolt holes in the back of the exhaust bracket is facing in the rear. That way you could disconnect it and drop it down versus putting it up the other way where you can't. Um, make sure, again, that this is square to the tubes. And I did that, you just double check, make sure it didn't move on me. Um, that, looks, that looks pretty good. Okay, make sure it didn't move on me. So, that's actually, that's actually good there. Okay. Bring this a little bit. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tack it over here. Here we are closer. Just got done welding the bracket into place. There it is right there. Um, this is the passenger side. Everything came out really nice. And if you look over here, this is the driver's side. Everything over here came out really nice. I'm actually gonna cut and move this plate first before I do all my cleaning up. Right there, that's the level bubble. And if you look, that has to come up. I'm trying to focus right there. So you see the space where that plate, sorry that it's blurry, but the space in the back of the transmission plate has to come up. So in order to correct that problem, I'm going to cut it right here to relieve tension and then bring this plate up so it's perfect with the other side over there because that side is actually right on the money not a problem with the passenger side. It's the driver's side that has the manufacturer's defect. So I'm gonna cut a slit in there with my grinding wheel and we're gonna bend that up just to make it uh, work really well. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing. Here we are, I put a slit right here. You can see that. I put a slit in there and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend that bracket up so I have some tension on it now, um, but I just want to make sure that we do it equally and evenly so I don't have a problem. And if you look over here, I cut this side just to take that tension off and then I'm going to re-weld it. I want to make sure that level reads level. So let me get it up there and I'll show you exactly uh, how it's going to look. Okay, I have the plate on there. It's uh, actually really, really good, as you can see. Um, it's hard to, to to focus on that bubble. I don't know why, but anyway, it's right on the money. The plate's nice and flat. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start welding up my my gap to make sure that it's it's really good. So. I'm gonna start welding what I cut, which is right here, just to close the gap up. But I just don't wanna, I wanna make sure it does not move. So let's get going, I'll finish that up for you.
I'm all done welding up that bracket right here so it's all done and clean really nice I didn't grind it smooth though and if you look on the level if you look right there it is perfectly level see that okay now the transmission bracket is in temporarily I just have it resting there and as you can see it is really really nice it sits across there um, everything's equal level across everything work, worked out really really nicely the other side right there just got done welding that in that's really nice I'm just gonna grind it clean it up make it look nice and smooth and okay I'm all done cleaning the weld up right there looks really good I grinded the other side as well show you everything's sitting really nicely clean uh, that's a shadow right there so don't let that scare you it's a little shadow okay um, everything looks really nice I grinded down the body bushing uh, washers so that fits in there really nice because of the contour of that right there you want to make sure it sits in there wanted to show everyone everything all my weld is pretty much cleaned up so nothing's sticking out past because I'm gonna paint my frame I'm gonna get it powder coated um, what I'm ready to do now is to weld my bushing washers in place so I'm gonna tack them I wanted to show you they're pretty much in place that sides all grinded and clean let me zoom in for you all right see that everything's nice nice penetration everything came out really nice and I'm getting ready to start tack welding the body bushings to the uh, exhaust bracket that came out really nice okay nice and clean Okay, and then this is the transmission bracket right here um, I welded that cut it lifted it made sure it was level and that came out really nice so the transmission bracket plates are in order um, other than that I just want to show you everything looks really good so if you have any questions comments uh, I'm gonna leave it in the description my three major problems that I had Actually, two major problems. The third one was manageable. Um, that was the tubes being too long right here that uh, I had to cut. They don't tell you that, but I don't consider that a major problem. But anyway, um, that's it. So please like, share, and subscribe. Um, the bushing washers. So I just want to show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm um, just tacking them in place so they don't move. Then I'm going to go all the way around and make sure it's nice and uh, welded flush. Um, I want to show you the, my ground over here. I want to show you everything that I cleaned up and welded came out really, really nice. One more thing I wanted to mention. They don't give you enough washers to do these body bushings that are up here. These body bushings, there's one on the, on the uh, passenger side and one on the driver's side where the trunk pan and the floor pan come together. There's body bushings that are in there. They don't give you any washers for those. So what I'm going to have to do is make something that is an eighth inch thick to compensate the difference there. Other than that, I'm really happy with the kit. I pointed out the problems that you will uh, face installing this kit it came out really nice for me um, like I said I lowered it about a quarter of an inch and more than what they recommend I leveled everything from left to right and it came out really really sweet and this is the end result um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe